Next, let's talk about It'll Do 2. So, so this game is another Zelda game. It's weird, like, all these like kind of Zelda-style games coming out on the and Switch. And there's not many of them out there, you know? Like, no. This is quite a surprise. Yeah, and uh, I, I've been playing quite a bit of this game. I haven't finished it yet. I'm, I, I'm actually not sure I am going to finish it um, because it's it's gotten a little bit too punishing and, and hard for my taste near the end game. Um, but it is it's really cool because... I haven't felt that a kind of top-down Zelda-style game has played this fluidly since Link Between Worlds. I think that's probably because the 60 frames per second uh, helps a a huge amount. Like, on the Switch screen, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Like, really sharp, um, very, very vibrant, and there are even kind of portraits for the characters when they're doing dialogue stuff that pops up, and that is, like, very kind of crayon-y, very... Uh, very thick lines, very like it's standoutish, and so I really like the look of the game. It's interesting because the aesthetic is very much built around kind of like a child island where uh, the dungeons are like a pillow fort and like a beach that's made made out of sweets and stuff like that. Like it's taking these very uh, kind of play like aesthetics and adapting them to Zelda dungeons, uh, and so like that even extends to when you get pieces of heart they're not pieces of heart they're called crayons because you like kind of color in the extra piece of heart on the top of the screen which is a really neat touch and like every time they get added they like get colored in at the top um and one of those things that i like is that instead of collecting four pieces and then getting a full heart you just get a quarter at a time so every time you get a thing you actually like benefit from it you get an extra quarter of a heart which is really neat um, i think that's something that zelda could maybe do in the future to to improve sometimes the grind like twilight princess especially with five heart pieces every time you have to get one uh gets a little bit tedious um but but there's a lot of cool things in this game that it does to kind of smooth out the process of the zelda experience um every time you're before a boss there's kind of a save point where you refill your entire health uh every time that you are in a dungeon and you've activated or opened a door it just instantly stays open even if you die straight after like it stays it saves that state essentially and so it's very fluid to kind of run through these areas and i was really breezing my way through the game for the first four dungeons or so and really loving it like really enjoying myself just having a fun time um the puzzles revolve around kind of four different items that you get across the the um course of the game um like your your sword and then you have like a beam that shoots things projectiles out um you have like ice wand that like creates blocks and and you're basically using all these different elements in conjunction with one another to solve puzzles so at any point in the game is similar to link between worlds where you can kind of do things in any order you want um but you're kind of limited by how difficult the enemies are because sometimes they are punishing in a way that is not particularly fun um i think that's kind of where the game falls down is eventually after because i was really like enjoying the pace of it and it was going well and then these last couple of dungeons i've just been like man like they really pile on enemies they really cut down your health your health disappears in an instant it's really difficult to kind of dodge out the way i think the dodge move is a little bit laggy in terms of when you dodge you have invincibility frames so you can avoid some stuff but also it's you can't repeat it very quickly after you've done it so you get stuck in situations where you're getting hit a lot similar to yono actually where you when you take damage there's not a lot of invincibility frames and so you can kind of get pounded into the ground really fast um and so later on that really becomes a problem um and there's other stuff where the puzzle design gets a little bit finicky because as you have 360 movement you're not able to like position yourself well for some really precision based puzzle so like there was one thing where i had to hit these three different parts of the room and i set down dynamite and i had to use my wand to hit a projectile and then i had to run around a corner to hit another thing and this all had to be done within like two seconds of each other like a very very tight time window and it was really difficult to pull off because every time i would try and do the projectile i wouldn't be facing the exact right direction so it would go off at an angle and not hit where i wanted it to um and you can control it with the d-pad but the it feels much more fluid when you're using the analog stick so it was a bit of a weird compromise going on there um and the map is a little bit difficult to read like you when you zoom in on it it doesn't really give you full movement it's just zoom in zoom out and sometimes you can't see where you need to go so there are definitely issues and problems uh but i have really enjoyed it so far and the difficulty spikes are something that's going to vary from person to person maybe it's because i'm mainlining and i'm not going 
going out of my way to get hearts and get things like upgrades which will help me out um but uh i think it's it's cool uh and it's definitely it feels great when you're just running around as the beast cars say the running around in this game is real good it's just good running around um and you know that it, it looks fantastic uh so i think that that's one that your mileage will probably vary on whether you are as um kind of put off by that difficulty stuff as i am but if it's something that you're into i think that this is definitely this is kind of the contrast to yono where yono is like the more um like fun run through not have much trouble whereas this is the more hardcore like really tough bosses like learning patterns style of thing um so depending on what person you are you might like one over the other um and i think they're both they both have good things about them so it's it's worth checking them both out at some point 